Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing to you a reason to understand a possible error in Premiere Pro CC when you have the wrong audio driver picked under the program. There's three audio drivers that are basically in Windows. It's ASIO, it's Audio Stream Input Output, or you have a WDM, Windows Driver Model, or an MME, which is Microsoft Multimedia Environment. What happened with me is I opened Premiere Pro and I had this little <clears throat> clip of my son's dog sliding down the slide. And right now it sounds good, and the, and the video plays good, everything's good. I have increased, this is a cell phone video of course, I have to increase the size of it to full size, or I have a screen around it, a frame around it. So, what it was doing before, it was real jerky like this, and that was, what, what, what did I do wrong, did I do something wrong? You know, I recorded this off the web with OBS. So I went up here to edit preferences and I looked at the audio hardware. Now in Premiere Pro they only give you two options. An ASIO driver or MME driver, uh, Microsoft Multimedia Environment or the Audio Stream Input Output not knowing I have the Creative Sound Blaster Series Live, which is an ASIO. But when it first installed, it was set for MME, Microsoft Media Multimedia Environment. So I changed it back to ASIO, and whenever you change it, you get this crazy box pops up and says, device changes can modify channel mappings, input assessment, and effect playback or recording currently underway. Do you want to continue? Well, <clears throat> that's exactly what was going on when I had it set for MME. It was affected the play. So I found these uh, websites that you can go to and it basically explains the difference between ASIO and WMD, WDM and MME drivers. ASO stands for Audio Stream Input Output. This format is designed to improve performance and legacy over standard type drivers in both PC and Macintosh systems. So legacy is probably the, what the Sound Blaster Live is. It's a legacy uh, device. Windows Driver Model, which improves performance and legacy over standard type drivers in Windows based systems only. Windows based systems only. But Premiere doesn't give you that option to pick a, a WDM. But it does give you the option for MME, Microsoft Multimedia Environment, and it's supported in almost almost all PC audio applications. Almost all is the key words there. If you switch over to the Sound Blaster site, Creative, Sound Blaster Z, you, you assume it's a very good audio card. It's it, it's it's the greatest, as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> right here, pristine audio recordings and ultra low legacy, ASIO. Enjoy reduced legacy with audio stream input output, ASIO. Support with Sound Blaster Z. Hear your audio recordings come to life. So that tells you right there, if you have that problem. Switch your audio to ASIO and more likely you'll correct all your jitter, jibber, jibber, jibbering. Now, there is a, a, a driver you can download. It's called ASIO 411 2.14 English. <coughs> but I don't feel I need to do that. It says right here, if there's one single change in this version, if your system is not affected, there is no reason to upgrade. Localized versions will not be provided for the very same reason. So you got to be kind of leery when you download these kind of things. This is from Britain. Um, I don't think my system is affected now because I have a choice to pick ASIO for my Sound Blaster Z card. So I'm not going to worry about downloading it. 
So I hope this helps. If you have any trouble with your track plan, because remember when, when it says there, designed to improve performance. And what I showed you in another little box, I showed you this little box here. When you change it, it tells you device changes can modify channel mapping, input assessments, and affect playback or recording currently underway. So if you have that a problem in playback, it's more likely your audio driver could be causing the problem. I hope this helps. Thank you.